album consists of nine different original compositions that I've written over the past several years. Um, many of them were based on different travels to places that I've been, like Panama, the promise of old Panama City. Return was a place in Africa, West Africa. It was a beautiful story about when the slaves were forced on the ships, they would circle this tree three times and it would bind their spirit to their homeland. No matter where they died, that their spirit would live, be together once again in their life. So we tried to imitate cries with the horns to express deep sadness of the story, but also this very joyful outlook of a terrible, terrible situation. Prayer song was written from the melody. I'd written some lyrics. That's how I've been trying to write my music recently. Writing lyrics and then trying to come up with a melody that's phrased with the same pitches that I would speak. I would write out like the thought that I had and then I would try and sing it the way that I would talk and then I tried to find the pitches on the piano and match, match them to make it more um, conversational and more natural to the way that we would actually speak. What I like about that, that song is it, it has a it has a real storytelling quality to me. The way I hear it, uh, it really feels like every 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 movement it makes, like it's going somewhere and saying something, and it feels very direct. Uh, so I felt I felt connected to that song as soon as I, I played it with her. In particular, I loved playing on prayer song. Uh, it's a beautiful, more of a ballad, which I gravitate towards playing. I love playing slower. And uh, I really loved the melody that she wrote to it, and it was a lot of fun. I really love Kaylee's music because it uh, it draws a lot of influences from various backgrounds, from uh, like gospel music, uh, some African influence. And, uh, uh, Latin influence as well, and um, one of my favorite compositions that we've recorded um, is Rose Bio. It's a very soulful tune. Uh, I like the melody on that one. It's a simple melody, but there's some really complex harmony underlying in the song. And I like the groove on that one, the Bio groove. It's really beautiful. And Fun to play over. In every single element, incredibly innovative, creative, and beautiful. She has an incredible sense of harmony and chord progressions, and it's very clear that she's been studying composition for a long time, and the compositions themselves are through composed in nature, meaning that there are several different sections to them and they really tell a story. There's always something interesting going on, um, and that's that's challenging to play. But and it and it's never never feels too cerebral. But it's a, a really cool com combination of like really thoughtful music, but also very uh, very melodic and lyrical melodies. 
and also she's a great great pianist as well really inventive improviser in the same way that she's a great composer um, so it's really it's really a lot of fun to, to play her music yeah the music all has uh, element of storytelling and there's some really nice stories to go along with the different tunes. Uh, also some more fun, fun titles, a little less serious like Stumptown, which is a great coffee brand from Portland, where Kaylee's from and identifies very much with Portland. It's kind of cool to be part of a thing where you feel like, oh, here's somebody that's like, is at point A, and they're definitely going to point B, and probably headed to point C by, you know, next month. So it's kind of really neat to be able to be like, hear that, and you're hearing that happen, you know, just sitting here, and that's pretty cool. So, yeah. But all our stuff sounded cool, so we're, we're all into it, and it's been fun.